I haven't really done a cancer update video in a while. We got a, uh, I don't know, one to three inches of snow last night. It's April 21st. The morals popped yesterday morning. And uh, I just come back from the doctor. And I thought I'd take a quick walk through the woods just to see what I got going on. But the uh, cancer update, Pipsqueak decided to, uh, I guess he's not going to be on camera today. He has this thing where I walk through the woods and he'll like jump up about six foot up a tree and then jump right back down. <laughs> He's kind of crazy. But even though we got snow, the ground temperature, I don't think it affected the ground temperature too much. So morals that were popping yesterday should still be popping today. And this little walk kind of gave me a moment to think oh you should do a cancer update video if you haven't done one in a while mm -hmm. let me tell you about cancer you think the chemo and radiation is bad the recovery is actually worse not like not like physically worse but more like mentally worse does that make sense? Like, I don't really know how to explain it. When I was doing the chemo and radiation, I at least felt like I was still in some kind of control. During the recovery, nope. You can can forget that. You can can forget that for sure. I have right now what's called. Um, I think she said it's called chemo brain. I literally don't remember. She just told me like an hour ago. But that's kind of the problem is I'll do something and five minutes later I don't even remember doing it. And if it's something that you think is important you might do it 15 or 20 times in a day. And you've already done it. You just don't remember you did it. <laughs> so uh That's kind of what's been going on. Every day I go out, I know I do it because I see myself on the security camera. 
I might go out and check the fruit trees 20 times in one day. Walk through the orchard, inspect every tree. One time on the video camera, let me give you an example. On the video camera one day, I walked out to the orchard. I walked out to the orchard and I inspected all the trees and I walked up to the mailbox which is about 75 feet away got the mail started to head back to the house decided I probably ought to inspect the fruit trees like literally in that 5 or 10 minutes I didn't even realize I had already inspected the fruit trees so I did it again the only difference is this time I was holding the mail that I just went up and checked but you kind of get the point what I'm saying is I, I had just done it literally had just did it so that's kind of how it is with cancer like, I felt like I was in control during the chemo and radiation because I still had my thoughts. Like, I knew it sucked, but it was okay. <laughs> and now it's just like I don't know what the hell's going on. For all I know, I could have already recorded this video and forgot about it. I could have already walked through the woods 15 minutes ago. I'm fairly confident I didn't because I just literally came home. Well, bad thing is, the morals that were up yesterday aren't up today. Because I already walked past where they were at. I'll walk through what I call my hot spot. Probably aren't going to find any. I just thought the snow, it got cold last night, but the ground temperature was probably still about the same. So maybe I would see some. And uh, to be honest with you, if I walk through my hot spot and don't see any, I ain't going to waste the time to keep walking through other places because they're always up in my hot spot before they're up anywhere else. So if I don't find at least one, I'm gonna call it a day. Or at least call it a day for mushroom hunting. I'm really kind of surprised. <sighs> But what that really means is a day or two after this cold spell, it's supposed to get down to 31 tonight, I probably need to be covering up the fruit trees. I haven't really decided. That's the other thing about the last six months of cancer treatment. Not only the memory issue, but I'm just tired all the time. Like I... Honestly, the drive back from the doctors, I thought I was just going to have to pull over the side of the road and take a nap. So there's also that. That's been going on. So being tired, being exhausted, memory loss. There were some morals up yesterday right here because I remember that bottle. And it's kind of funny because the memory loss, like I... I know I walked through here yesterday, I saw that bottle. I remember that, but like I'll forget stuff that happened five minutes ago that I already did. And the other thing is I keep getting infections in my mouth. Like inside of my mouth is just a mess. Right now on this side I have my gum has deteriorated all the way down to the bone. Again, that happened 
That happened a few months ago too. Only on the other side. <laughs> so it's like it swapped sides. The doctor took some pictures of it to add to my chart. And uh, they wasn't too concerned about it the last time. So I'm kind of guessing they're not going to be too concerned about it this time either. I am just really kind of uh, surprised. I don't see any morals. So maybe that snowfall last night had more of an effect than I thought it was going to have. I mean, it was, the snow was pretty much covering the ground this morning, but it melted off really quick. Here, I was going to turn this video into a here's a cancer update and here's how I find morals, but don't look like that's going to be the case today. There you go. There's some snow on the ground still. I see redbud blooms falling. There must be, oh, there's a redbud tree over there. One over there, one up there. Couldn't figure out where those blooms are coming from. The wind is like blowing them. But no, no morals. There's an old uh, pole of some sort. Be uh. <laughs> this is a uh, pile of limbs where they cleared the land to build my house back in the 70s. And they're still here. Can you believe that? Can you see it? It's a pretty big pile. But what it is, they're cedar trees and cedar take forever to rot some people say 50 years there's an old tire i find the weirdest stuff this time of year i find all kinds of weird stuff walking through the woods because not much growing on the ground yet but they told me it um they told me that they push like when i talked to the guy who actually built the house so i'm the third owner but the guy that built a house in the 70s i talked to him and he was like telling me you know about when he built it and how much it cost him to build it he's actually a uh he he builds houses professionally and this was like his vacation home for his family and uh Anyways, so he was telling me, like, you know, he built the house himself, but, like, what it cost him on materials, they tried to harvest as much wood off the property as they could to build it with. And then, of course, you know, they had to do, like, finished materials. But he was telling me, like, what it cost him to build it, and I was just, like, dying because the, the cost to build this house wasn't hardly anything. But if you look at today's cost, like if you take the 1970s dollar versus what today's dollar, you know, you think a dollar in 1970 was a dollar and a dollar today is still a dollar. But you know, the purchasing power of a dollar, you take what it was in the 1970s versus today, it's a huge difference. Because to build this house, I actually looked it up. So going by what he told me, like, his out-of-pocket cost versus what it would cost to like build a taste about three hundred thousand dollars <laughs> it was crazy thankfully I did not give that for it <sighs> I 
Did I already talk about the memory loss? I know I was going to do like an update canter video. And I don't remember what I've talked about. There's the, uh, I don't think I've just been walking around for 14 minutes carrying this camera on. Alright, I just need to focus and get it over with. So, last six months, I've been having like really horrible memory loss. Like, I, I can't really remember what I did just five minutes ago. Uh, the doctor told me it's called... Uh, Um, she said it was cancer brain? No. I think she said it's chemo brain. Chemo brain? Man. That's horrible. I, th I think she said chemo brain, so she says that that's what's causing my memory loss. Not so much the thyroid, just the chemo. And it'll take, you know, they, they always say it. It'll take some time, but it'll get better over time. Well, it's been six months, and it just keeps getting worse. Um, let's see, memory loss, I'm always tired, like, I'm, I feel like I could just lay down and take a nap and I probably ain't walked a hundred yards. Um, driving, I remember driving on the way home, I was like, you should pull over and take a nap along the side of the road because just the drive to the hospital about wore me out. And, uh, let's see, memory loss, chemo brain, exhaustion, sores in my mouth. I keep getting sores in my mouth. Like, my gums will just deteriorate all the way down to, the, like, you'll have gums where your teeth are at. They'll be perfectly normal gums, and then you'll wake up, and there'll be bones showing. And, uh, that, and I keep getting infections in my mouth, thrush. Um, I think they're going to try me on a different medication for that because she said that some things work better than others and I don't seem to be having as good a luck with what I've been on for the last three months that they would expect it to have cleared up for a while or maybe even gone away entirely but I keep getting it over and over just like a bad dream you wake up you fall back asleep go right back into the same bad dream and uh no more morals Looks like a turkey has been down here scratching. <sighs> Definitely a lot of turkey scratches down here. Turkey season's actually in, but I don't have my crossbow. You know, I, I think I'm just going to end this video because I can't remember what I've already talked about. <laughs> I'm, uh... I thought if I found some more mushrooms, I would take a pretty long walk, but I'm tired. And I think I'm just going to go back to the house. Piss Creek. My cat follows me. 
about everywhere. Not even one moral. I would expect to find 15 or 20 in this area I just walked through. The day after. <laughs> the day after they first start popping. I would definitely expect 15 or 20. At least. Then I don't see any. What do you think, Pisqueak? Pisqueak stayed out all night, and then he was afraid to walk up to the door when I walked out this morning to see if he was out anywhere. Because he, he never had to walk in snow before. <laughs> I remember that. He was just whining. I had to go pick him up, carry him up to the front porch. I don't know if he actually slept under the building. That's where he was at this morning when I found him. But uh, I hollered for him like every hour until pretty close to uh, midnight. And then I was just like, he's asleep somewhere underneath the tree or under the building or in the basement. I really don't know what he does. Oh, I really hope I covered everything I wanted to cover. I wonder if my uh, paw paws got damaged. I'm dressed like it's winter time and it's like 45 degrees outside. Oh, did I talk about that? That's the other thing. I cannot get warm. I'm normally a person who would be wearing shorts in weather like this. 45 degrees, I'd have shorts on. But I can't get warm. It could be 70 degrees and I still have on a hoodie with a... <laughs> A hoodie with a t-shirt under it and either sweatpants or jeans and wool socks 70 degrees outside working still freezing like I just can't get warm for anything and they just told me not long ago that all of this was because of my thyroid the memory issues the being cold and now they're saying it's called uh, uh What's it being called? I feel like I already talked about that. Chemo. Chemo brain. Now they say I got chemo brain. I need to go Google that. Eh, Paul Paul's still look alright. There's uh, three blooms there, a bloom there, there's three there, there's one there, there's two down there, a couple up here, one over there. This pawpaw didn't have many blooms on it this year. This pawpaw didn't have any blooms. This pawpaw didn't have any blooms. And this pawpaw's got one bloom. If I can get in here where you can see it. Right there. Oh well. I, I feel like I'm like repeating myself. I'm having a deja vu moment. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. 23 minutes. I can't upload that. I'm going to have to cut that way down in size. But Oh well. Um, thanks for a lot watching. Again, I just wanted to give an update. 
I just wanted to give an update and uh, thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I usually have all kinds of content related to homesteading, gardening, orchard, fruits, vegetables, animals, chickens, rabbits, goats, bees, predators, berries, herb garden, all that kind of stuff. As always, God bless you. God bless your family. Started to get choked up there for some reason. Don't know why. Let's try it again. Take two. As always, God bless you. God bless. <sighs> Don't know why that's affecting me so much. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.